Jovan, final statement here before we take questions from the press. Give us your final statement on what we should expect Saturday night. No, este sábado se van a esperar una guerra de ambos. Yo vengo a hacer mi trabajo y a buscar esa victoria para Puerto Rico. This Saturday night, it's going to be a war. It's going to be a war and it's going to be a victory for Puerto Rico. Hmm. Adrian, before we take uh, questions from members of the press, give us a, a final thought. I mean, <laughs> so, it, so many people have written, can't even make 140. Will he be a change of fighter? Will he be, will he throw more punches? Uh, what should we expect Saturday night? Hey, man, you know, you just expect a hell of a show. You know, um, I know he coming to fight. He from Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans, come, they come to fight. Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, they all come to fight. Um, so I know he coming to fight, but I ain't just do all this training to go in the ring and not fight. So he got to know he's, he's to come to a war, he, he's going to be in a war too. So, you know, <laughs> he got to know that. <laughs> <laughs> he better be coming with a lot of equipment because I got a, a lot of equipment coming with me, man. So, so you know, I'm just ready to put it all on the line. Like, like I don't know how he feel, though, but, like, I'm willing to die in there. I'm willing to put my life on the line. Like, I'm willing to, to like, give it all and, like, I ain't got shit left. Like, I'm willing to do that. I don't know how far he's willing to go. Like, he might start thinking of his kids, grandkids, aunts, and nieces. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm willing to say fuck everything. Like I'm willing to put it all online, bro. I'm ready. I love that one thing you, you told me. Estoy listo para morir. He's, ready. Raya, como en Puerto Rico. He's ready to die in the line like we said in Puerto Rico. I love it. Le gusta. I love it. I think we gotta fight. I think we gotta I think we gotta fight. Uh Greg Domino from Showtime uh is going to acknowledge the members of the media who have questions. Greg. Uh, let's take our first question. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Our first question is from Jeremy Herges of Fansided. The floor is yours, Jeremy. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Giovanni. Thank you for your time. Uh, this question is for, for Adrian. Uh, Adrian, I know uh, during the opening comments, you, you used the word retirement at one point. Uh, what had you thinking retirement? Was there a specific reason? If you can talk about your thought process for that, and did you really mean it? Um, I don't know how long you've, you've worked without taking a break, but for me, it was like from six years, six years old to what, 30, I never took a break from boxing. And I was just like, you know what, let me just take a bit, take a break. I, I need to take a break. So, you know, that's what I did. And, um, now I'm missing boxing again and I'm back in it and, um, we back to it, and we back to it on Saturday night. Final question for me, for, for Adrian. Um, as far as getting back into it, I know you talked about, I think you said uh, you had to lose 35 pounds um, to get to where, where you are now. Um, how hard was that for you, and, and did, you, did you question yourself at times? No, no, no. I've been doing this all my life, man. <laughs> and, you know, uh, from the first day, once I once I woke up, I told GT like, man, let's let's go do it. I just been at it, you know. I knew, I knew it was gonna hurt. I knew I, I wasn't gonna gonna like what I was put myself through, but I knew it would all pay off. And uh, you know, I'm here today, and I'm I'm ready to work. Thank you, Adrian, and best of luck to both of you. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, the next question is from Fago Franklin. Uh, please unmute and. The floor is yours. Hey, how you doing, Adrian? Uh, this question is for you. What did what did you learn about yourself having to overcome obstacles that happen in your life? Uh, I learned that I could stop having sex, man. You know, that's, <laughs> that's one of my biggest problems. You know, I, I like to party. You know, uh, I like fucking. <laughs> so I had to cut it all out. The partying, the drinking, the, you know. And uh, just get serious with my career, and uh, you know, you know, become become that uh, elite fighter, and, and take take back over the sport. Thank you. Thank you, Fago. Uh, just a reminder: if you have questions for Adrian or Giovanni, please raise your hand within the webinar, and I will call on you. 
uh, once called upon, just unmute yourself. Uh, the next question comes from James Conlon. Hi, Adrian. Uh, just in terms of that break, in terms of two years, um, has this been probably one of the most grueling training camps you've ever been on? And uh, have you enjoyed that sort of fact? And uh, in terms of doing your homework, um, Giovanni, um, what do you know about him? Um, you gave me like three questions in one, but I'll answer them. Um, uh, yeah, it's been a, a hell of a training camp. Uh, maybe one of the toughest because uh, I had to get back in rhythm. I had to get my rhythm back and, uh, you know, coming back, losing all that weight and then working as hard as I do. You know, of course it was tough. And then, you know, uh, you know, I, I didn't want an easy fight. So I picked a guy like Giovanni because uh, um, I knew he's going to push push me and uh, bring the best out of me. So, you know, um, that's, that's what I know, know about him. I know he's a good fighter. He's an undefeated fighter and um, he, he's not here to lose. And uh, lastly, for me, uh, just in terms of Giovanni, um, this is probably the biggest name that you've fought so far in, in your career. And in terms of doing your homework on Adrian, have you watched some of his fights uh, back to pick out some of his key strengths or, or weaknesses? No, sí, sé que es la pelea más grande de mi carrera y, y esta pelea pues no la puedo desaprovechar. Tengo que dar el máximo ese día y así va a ser, dar una, una gran pelea. Yeah, I know this is the biggest fight of my career. He is a big name and I'm going to come with everything Saturday night and I'm going to try to win for Puerto Rico, like I said. Uh, best luck, for guys. Just say soccer, bro. <laughs> Shit Thank you. Uh, next, next up, we'll go to R.L. Woodson from Bite Down Boxing. Hey, how you doing, uh, A.B. and Giovanni? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, bro. I'm all bad. Uh, welcome back, man, and uh, looking forward to Saturday night. Uh, a lot of us got a chance to see what was going on with you in the process by watching GT, man. So I'm just wondering, uh, we've seen you with Kevin Cunningham in the past. Uh, what about GT made him the right fit for this task right here in coming back? Um, GT is one of my coaches, but the head trainer is my regular coach, Mike Stafford. And, you know, um, you know, um, you know, I always looked up to him. A lot of people don't know who GT really is, but, you know, he's, someone who could have been one of the biggest boxers in the world you know I, I watched him since I was a kid and um you know uh he, he he's been there he's been on the side of me and uh you know him and coach Mike you know shit they know what they know what, they know what they to know do what to, to do bring the best out of me so uh, Saturday night is gonna be a hell of a performance all right a question for you Giovanni uh how do you um how do you process the talk of 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 uh, Broner getting his life together and and a new him on Saturday night is it your job to uh, to prove him wrong? Sí, ese es mi trabajo. Este este sábado demostrarle a Broner que que va a tener que pelear, que espero que venga como él dice preparado porque ese es su regreso y yo no tengo nada que perder. Él sí. I don't have nothing to lose. Adrian Broner has all the uh... Um, everything to lose on Saturday night. So he better bring his A game against me. All right. Thanks for your time. Best of luck to y'all Saturday. Thank you, RL. Uh, next up, reporting Ellie Secback. Hey, Adrian. How's it going? What's up, Brian? Reporting. <laughs> hey, Ellie. Hey, so Adrian, you're the biggest showman in boxing. Uh, let me quote you. You always say fresh, fly, and, and uh, what is it? Flashy. Flashy, how is it going to be for you to walk in a stadium that's going to be empty where you're the one that brings out all the crowds that, that draws all the attention? Man, you know me, man. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. You can put me in the bathroom I'm going to put on a show. So, you know, uh, you know, of course, I always want fans there. But, you know, without the fans, that means it's going to be more viewership. So, you know, I'm expecting the numbers to be good. And as you know, um. Everybody can't wait till I fight. So, you know, Saturday night, you know, uh, the numbers are going to be good and I'm going to put on a great performance. One more question, Adrian. You have a lot of celebrity friends. Who are some of the people that are hitting you up that are excited to see you get back in the ring? 
Oh man, a, a lot of people, man. I don't want to just throw the names out there, but, but, but you know, they all, they all just happy for me. You know, um, you know, more so that that uh, I really changed and and you know uh, got my life together, and um, I'm back in the ring. So, you know, uh, everybody's just happy to see me do what I do. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. Uh, the next question will come from uh, Kenyon Atchison. Hey, how you doing today, Adrian? What's up with it? Hey, I got a question for you. Um, are you going in looking for the knockout or being that you haven't fought in a couple years, are you anticipating on just getting a few rounds in? Um, I'm not, I'm not looking for, hey, listen, man. I know a lot of people like, man, they don't know this guy, but, you know, uh, these guys like like a Giovanni um, can be very dangerous because a lot of people don't know him. Um, he, I know that he's a, he's a good opponent. He's coming to fight. He's undefeated. So, you know, I'm, I got to stay on my A game. You, you, know, uh, you know, I'm going in to get the victory. You know, whatever presents itself. If a knockout presents itself, I'm taking it. You know, you don't get paid for overtime in this game, and, and, and that's just what it is. But I'm, I'm definitely coming to get my win. Okay. And for Giovanni, what exactly is it that you expect to see out of Adrian come Saturday? No, yo espero que él va a venir a hacer una gran pelea como siempre, porque como todos sabemos... Bruno siempre da unos buenos espectáculos y, y nada, vengo preparado para lo que él venga y veremos a ver qué pasa este sábado. AB always puts in, puts in a show, so Saturday he has to be ready to put his own show against AB. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. So we'll take our last question now from Joe Sewell. Sound crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> Joe, you there? You good, Joe? <laughs> Joe, you have to unmute yourself. Joe? Can you guys hear me? Got you, Joe. Go ahead. Hey, hey, what's going on, AB, man? Good to see you back in the in the ring, man. So, you know, um, I just got a quick question for you, AB. You sound like you rededicated yourself to the sport of boxing. So the plan is, uh, Adrian, if you get a knockout, who are you looking to fight next? What's the overall goal, Adrian? Uh, the overall goal is is – you know, to get past this fight first. In boxing, you can't look past no opponent. Um, I don't care uh, how everything looks on paper. Um, you can't look past no opponent because in boxing, you're only one punch away from a knockout, and that's on both ends. So, you know, what I got to do is go in and get my victory, get my hand raised first, and then we're going to go to the drawing board. So, you know, the plan for me is to uh, get my victory on Saturday night. All right, thank you, AB. Good luck, man. All right, you nervous than a motherfucker. Is that it, Greg? That's it. Okay, thank you very much. You know, before we wrap this up, one thing I thought you said that was interesting, Adrian, is said you talked about coming back and taking over the sport again. And when we talk on the podcast, you know, you made the point that people need to realize I'm still only 30, 31 years old. I'm still young. In this comeback, is it conceivable that Adrian Broner could become one of the pound for pound best like he was in his prime, supposedly prime heyday when you were winning title after title? Is that possible? Of course, man. You know, um, but uh, everything happened for a reason and uh, I think this is going to be a great start. And, you know, uh, like I said before, I, I didn't want no easy way out. So I, could, I could have came in and took a, took, a, took a bum and took somebody that was just a pushover, a lookover. But I'm not doing that. I'm, I, I love competition. So, you know, uh, 
I want somebody that's gonna come test me and bring the best out of me. And you know, that's why I picked Giovanni and uh Saturday night is gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a fight. 9 p.m. Eastern, it comes your way. The main event, Adrian the Problem Broner taking on Giovanni Santiago, unbeaten out of Puerto Rico. Uh, gentlemen, let's have a quick face off. Please make sure you stand right there behind the, the tape. And then we'll go to the co-main fighters next. <laughs> 